It's Monday morning in the fabulous Florida Keys. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty. We even like Mondays in the Florida Keys, but why wouldn't we? We live in paradise. Monday's just an extension of our weekend. This weekend was a great weekend. I had an added bonus. Usually every Saturday I go to Elsie Bonet. It's a great little Cuban restaurant downtown. It's right on the corner of Catherine and Margaret Streets. I usually have lunch there every Saturday, but this weekend I ate there Saturday and Sunday, so it was a double treat, which makes me a happy Monday morning person. This is my morning market MLS update video I do every day, right about this same time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys that have come on the market in the last 24 hours. If you watch this video, you'll be ahead of most buyers. You'll know about every new listing from Big Pine Key down to Key West the same day the realtors do. I find most buyers wait for home to come on to Trulia or Zillow or Realtor.com or one of those websites before they inquire about it. And the problem they face there is by the time a lot of these sites put a home live online, it's been on the multiple listing service a couple days and all the good deals are already under contract. If you watch this video, you see something you like, you can call me right away. I'll make an appointment for us to go see the home or if you're not here locally, I'll go preview it on your behalf. And if you like what you see, we can write up an offer and have you under contract before most buyers ever even knew the home was available for sale. You can also get a much more detailed description of these listings if you follow my blog, keywestinvesting.com. That's updated every day from the multiple listing service, including photos. There's a lot more details on the blog, a lot more information on the blog, any unique features the house might have, things like room descriptions and uses, room dimensions, photos of the inside of the home, photos of the outside of the home. If the home happens to be waterfront, it happens to have a pool, there'll be photos of the water view, photos of the pool, photos of the boat dockage. It's just a lot more information that I can cram into a couple minute quick YouTube video. Again, that web address is keywestinvesting.com and it's updated every day from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. If you like this video and you wanna stay current with what's being listed in the Florida Keys real estate market, please click, click that thumbs up like symbol down below, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a video just like this every day so you can find out every morning what's being listed in the Florida Keys at what price. Today we have just two homes to go over. They're both in Key West. There were no new listings in the lower keys today. Before I tell you about the homes, the state of Florida's legal department has to butt in and make me cover the boring information. The information I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. I'm not accepting any responsibility for either of these listings. I'm not claiming either of these listings to be my own listings. And I'm not accepting any responsibility if there's any inaccuracies in the information I give you. I'm simply reading it to you right from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. The first one we have is a very unique home, and it's an excellent buy for a rental property if someone's looking for a rental investment unit. It's in Bahama Village. It's a triplex. It's a total of four bedrooms, four bathrooms, plus they have a studio apartment that's detached from the main building. Total of 1,264 square feet. The main unit is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom. Then there's a one bedroom, one bathroom accessory unit on it. And then the second building is a studio. It was originally used as commercial space and you could probably rent it out as commercial space if you still wanted to. It's a large studio with a half bathroom then it has an outdoor shower, which people tend to love. The house I lived in in Big Pine Key for about six years when I first moved to the Keys in 1991 had an outdoor shower and I used it all the time. It was out on the water in an area where there were no street lights. It was just me under the stars taking a shower and I loved that. This property is being offered at $1,580,000, which is an excellent price for a multi-unit in Old Town. This one also has off-street parking, which is a very important feature for Bahama Village. Parking on the street in Bahama Village can be tough. If you're looking for a rental investment income property, let's take a look at this one real quick because I don't expect it to be around long. Then we go to Key West's Newtown neighborhood on Seidenberg Ave. There's a three bedroom, four, a four bedroom, I'm sorry, four bedroom, three bathroom, 2,071 square foot house. 
This one's on a 5,000 square foot lot, which is about average for the Newtown lots. It is, however, extremely overpriced. It's priced at $2,350,000, which in my opinion is probably about a million dollars overpriced for a house of that quality in that neighborhood. I don't know, maybe, maybe it has a gold toilet or something that I'm not aware of, but it's definitely way, way overpriced. That's all we have for today. If you want to take a look at either one of these homes or any home anywhere in the Florida Keys, give me a call at 305-731-0501. Don't forget to check out my blog for more details on these homes, keywestinvesting.com. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty.